I'm Zainab Badawi and welcome to the King's Library and welcome to all our Nobel laureates. I'll be talking to them about themselves and also the role of science in society today. Gentlemen, congratulations to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't see any lady amongst you, so that's why I say gentlemen. So I want to ask you now, all of you, tell me honestly, are you quite satisfied about being in the limelight, scientists like this, Nobel time, occupying centre stage, Saul? But, well, if you've ever wondered what it was like to be famous, I can report that for one week, it's a, it's a lot of fun, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just betting that for this group of people that will be really glad that it's only for one week. I don't think any of us would want to be Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Bruce? I'd have to agree exactly with Saul. It's a very new experience. It's not unpleasant, but probably I'd like to get some work done pretty soon. Yeah, it's life in the fast lane. I've been given a driver named Stig, which is pretty entertaining, uh, but I'll be happy to, I think, get off the road and get back to work. Uh, for myself, I've been a bit uncomfortable, but I love the uh, attention that it's brought to my colleagues and to my field of science. Danny, I mean, are you enjoying it? Come on, you're not all shy, retiring scientists who just like to stay in your laboratories all the time. It's good for you to be like this in the spotlight. Well, not all of us are shy, but uh, <laughs> I enjoy it very much. But the question is, OK, so now we have uh, some powers we did not have before. The question is, what do you do with it? Now we have access to decision makers. At least I have access to decision makers. And, um, and the question is, will I use it properly? I try to. OK, well, we'll find out some more about that. Thomas, what do you think? Well, I disagree with Saul. If I could look like uh, Brad Pitt, um, <laughs> I would enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a marvellous brain as well, but um, don't do trade, yourself down. I would down. trade everything. Don't do yourself <laughs> down, Thomas. <laughs> Christopher, your fellow economist. Well, I think that... Uh, the access to decision makers is not such a, a big deal for uh, us as economists since our work has already influenced the people who are making decisions about economic policy. But uh, winning the Nobel does give you a chance to be heard by ordinary people more uh, in venues like this. And that's a good thing, isn't it, Jules? Well, I would say that I feel a little bit intimidated, more than comfortable. But I would say, like you, that I'm, I'm very, I'm delighted that the fields on which we have worked and also the co-workers have been recognized by this uh, prize. And uh, I also feel a sense of responsibility, as you've said. So we'll see how it goes on. 